All right, so my name is Anna and I am founder of We Are Fit Attitude. And another interview with one of my lovely members, Salma. Uh, Salma and I have been training together for a long time. I don't mm -hmm. oh gosh, I wouldn't, I have four years. I could be, it could yep. be as long as that. Uh, and Salma joined <laughs> me when I was personal trainer and I was training three friends, you and two other friends. Yep. And then we started the groups, the women only group in set July of 20, gosh, I have to think about this, 2018. Yep. And uh, you joined the Body Fix and Six at that time. Mm -hmm. And so I want you to almost, I think you've been on quite a journey. Um, and I guess what I'd like to, you to go back is almost to that time before WAFA and where you were at in terms of your health, just to, for people to get a bit of an insight. <laughs> oh, where was I? Oh, goodness. I was fat and unhealthy at that time and really unhappy with being fat and unhealthy. I think, I think life had um, taken sort of a weird downward turn and I think I was just at that point where I was unhappy with a lot of things. And one of those was the fact that I just felt so tired and um, lethargic, lazy, um, depressed at that time. And um, I think when I kind of came out the other end, I realised that I had to make some changes um, just so that I could get back on my feet for the sake of the children, really. I mean, I think... I knew that I didn't want to continue like that. And I remember um, initially we started training with a coach in the first down rec. And uh, we went for our first session and it was raining and it was cold. And I was just thinking, oh, I'm not sure I want to do this. Like, you know, do I really want to take out an hour of my time? And it was on, I think the second, se first session didn't go particularly well. And this, we thought, no, do you know what? We, we've got to try one more. Right, so we went to the second session and this guy tried to get us to do some really weird move where he wanted us to climb up this wall with our legs. I and mean, this was on our second session. And when some of us refused to do it in not so you know, friendly terms, he turned around and said, ladies, don't you want to be athletes? And we all looked at him and thought, uh, no, actually, we don't. We just want to be fit, basically. We just want to be able to run for the bus without, you know, losing our, you know, losing our breath. And so, yeah, that was the last session we ever did with him. And then a couple of weeks later, I got a call from Lorna saying, God, I've met this lady at the, uh, at the running track. And, you know, she's, she seems really friendly. Maybe we should try a session with her. And I remember thinking, oh, God, not another bloody personal trainer that's going to get us, like, you know, like trying to kill ourselves. And um, actually, it was completely different. I think it was the first time we'd worked out where we laughed so much. And it was so therapeutic and so stress relieving. Um, but at the same time, you'd be absolutely knackered by the end of it. And I think that's what one of the big things for me was, that it was actually something that where I was getting... A lot of exercise I think you were really quite <clears throat> good at gauging what level we were at and although you were pushing us you weren't trying to kill us which was quite a you know it was an advantage because I think that would have scared it would have scared me off I would have just thought oh I can't do this this isn't for me but it was just so much fun that we used to look forward to those Thursday ses sessions over at the um at the running track it didn't matter whether it was cold or whether it was icy or whether it was really hot I think we all just really needed to attend those sessions so yeah for me I think that was a big game changer the fact that it was fun it wasn't boring I get bored very easily so if we'd been doing the same workout week in week out I think I would have thought I'm bored this week I'm not going to go but I think it was just the fact that um yeah what I it made me laugh a lot so you, we, we obviously there came that point where I had to announce that I was no longer going to be doing the personal training and I was going to move into um, training women uh, only. Mm -hmm. And uh, so you jumped on board 
Yeah. And uh, I mean, just talk through, I mean, you've been with me right from the get go. So I think yeah. it would be really interesting for people to understand how that, that change from that tiny small group, how that has changed and where, what you gained from it as a result of it. I mean, we could talk all afternoon, but. Yeah. yeah, I think that was, for me, that was a little bit daunting because obviously at that point, I don't think I considered myself to be hugely fit, although I was obviously getting fitter. And there was a part of me thinking, oh, do you know what? It's going to be like going back to the gym where, you know, the person on the treadmill next to you is running for like 45 minutes and hasn't even broken a sweat. And you've done like five minutes and you're like ready to get off. And um, but I think that after the first session, there was such a variety of women there. And there are so many different sort of, I suppose, levels of health and different shapes and sizes and personalities that you kind of, that made me feel a bit more comfortable that, you know, I could do it at my own pace. I wasn't going to be intimidated by the other ladies that were fitter than me. And I could also sort of cheer on the ladies that might be struggling and might be thinking, oh, this is quite hard. So I think from that perspective, it was quite, it was much nicer to be able to train with a bigger group, you know, different abilities, you kind of help each other, you cheer each other on. And I think that is one of the things that's made me stay with Wafa is just the spirit of, you know, it doesn't matter like how fit you are, how healthy you are, what size you are, everybody just cheers each other on. And now that we have, obviously we were in the church hall and now lockdown happens and we all had to move online again, do you feel that you're still getting that same community spirit? And Yeah, I think it's, I think because I've been with WAFA such a long time, I think there's so many familiar faces now. They're almost like an extended part of my family. You know, whether I know, you know, them really well or, you know, only like sort of fleetingly, because obviously people have different sort of schedules and stuff. So there's some people you don't see for weeks and then you'll bump into them and actually you're so happy to see them um, because you have missed them. You've missed training with them. And um, I think going online has been nice in the sense that even though you don't necessarily get a chance to speak because it's a bit difficult on Zoom for everybody to be speaking. But yeah, it's just lovely to see familiar faces. And um, every coach that I've trained with online, um, I think they're just so good at motivating us and keeping us like upbeat and sort of, you know yeah I just I just think it's um it hasn't been as hard as I thought it'd be I did kind of think oh I'm not you know I'm just gonna fall off the wagon and think oh I can't do this but actually they keep the spirits high and it is lovely to see other faces and see people you know give people a wave and yeah it's limited but it's it's better than nothing so yeah. I've really enjoyed it yeah so if I think back to the Salma that I first met and as you said, you know, you felt lethargic and lazy and demotivated to the Salma that you are today. Just describe the Salma you are today. <laughs> no swearing. <laughs> I don't think I'd ever want to be that Salma again, to be honest. I think because exercise was never a big part of my life as I was growing up. It wasn't, you know, I remember I used to go to the, I used to go to the gym occasionally but it for me it was more for me I think the social aspect of it has always been important so even when I was a gym goer I would go if I had a gym partner and if I didn't I just would never go so I think that aspect of it is something that's quite important to me but no I, I do plan my week around my sessions in fact I plan my month around the sessions now um, you know there are people I was on a zoom call the other day with family and um, they were all a bit delayed and I was getting really irritated and they were going well do you have to go somewhere you've got nowhere to go and I said actually I've, I've got a training session booked in <laughs> and so <laughs> I was like so I'm gonna go <laughs> because I think it's it is about making it a part of your life and it has been a part of my life for so many years now that um I um I just I just enjoy the uh, I think it gives you, it helps you de-stress. You know, you feel good about yourself. 
I love I love the fact that you know now I can you know when I am doing the workouts they're still hard you know every workout is tough and you know and I think people have this misconception that the fitter you get oh you're just gonna it's gonna be a breeze but it isn't it, it, they're really tough sessions but um I love the fact that I'm not running for my pump straight after doing you know 40 seconds of sprinting which is what I was doing at the beginning you know I but don't think I'm asthmatic um borderline so no I don't think I don't think I was being asthmatic I think yeah. I was completely unhealthy <laughs> because <laughs> So, I mean, so now do you feel you you feel that I love the fact that you've got the motivation. What's happened is because you've made it something that you've committed to, it becomes routine. Yes. And I think that's something that's really important is about making sure that you create time for you, yeah. whatever that is. And you've made WAFA doing the classes your time to, to really look after yourself. Yes, absolutely. Now, and now it's become a habit. It has. And, and to be honest, there's so many additional benefits to it. Like, you know, you're getting fit. I never, ever had muscles. Now I compare my muscles with, with my son. And um, it is rather annoying that a 15-year-old that spends most of his time sleeping sort of has slightly bigger muscles than me. <laughs> but, but I think his are genetic. That's my excuse anyway. Because, um, you know, I, I'm quite proud of my muscles now. Uh, well, your your kind of little pocket rocket, you're teeny tiny, yet you're absolutely stacked. You're probably, you are super strong. I mean, you always had it in you, but now you've, yeah. you've lost a lot of weight as well. Yeah. Yeah. And I think, I think, I think when you're exercising regularly, I think you kind of, it, you're in a different mindset. So you tend to make healthier options. You know, I'm not saying that I, I do that all the time, but you know, at least 70, 80% of the time, I will consider what I'm eating or I will try and think, oh, I've just done a workout, you know, maybe I'll try and have something slightly healthier and stuff. And, you know, there's loads of like the recipes that you send out and stuff. I think it's all, it's got to be the whole, it's got to be a whole mindset. So I think when you are working out and you are seeing results, it kind of spurs you on to do the additional little things that can help you kind of change the whole package so if you were um someone was saying to you look sam or i'm i've seen this this advert for this women only health and fitness thing but i'm not sure about it what what do what would you say to them i would say it's the best thing you'll ever do for yourself because you will meet so many lovely women so many lovely trainers there's so much flexibility i don't think anybody's got any excuse that they can't fit it in because you know you've got classes at 6 15 in the morning for all those crazy people that love to get up and work out at that time <laughs> which i've never managed to do um but you know you've got classes throughout the day you've got the classes for the people that you know possibly working from home or stay at home moms you know during the day and then you know the ones in the evening for when you get back from work so there is something for everyone so and, you know, you do meet so many lovely people that um, I think it's, that's just, they're so, mo like, they're so motivational, all of them. You know, everybody works so hard in those classes and people turn up and, you know, there's some people that have never, you can tell they're probably not exercised in years, but they get into it because everybody just spurs each other on. And I think that's really nice to see because so you're getting... And you make so many friends. I think throughout the the session, the challenges that we've done, I think you know, um, you know, you spent time with people that you probably never would have otherwise. Brilliant. Thank you, Salma. I really appreciate that. It's nice to reflect on the journey we've been on together. Yeah. Uh, and I, I think you've probably seen me change as well. And I think yeah. we've we've evolved. And as we say, you know, WAFA is an ever evolving journey for our members, especially those that. That stay with us so thank you for telling sharing your story it's much appreciated yep.